Now, it's time for the papers on France 24. Violent protests uh, continuing early uh, Thursday morning across cities in France after the uh, police shooting to death of a teenager on Tuesday. It's all over the front French pages, and you could, as you can uh, imagine, Dipti's here to take a look at it uh, for us, Dipti. Yeah, that's right. 17-year-old Nael was uh, pulled over by police on Tuesday morning for a, tra a traffic infraction when he was shot and killed at Point Blank Range in Nanterre, a suburb of a suburb just outside of Paris. It is dominating the French papers and the European papers as well today. This is L'Humanité, the French communist paper, which says on its front page that it was one death too many, uh, saying also that many are now calling for an overhaul of France's public security laws, the paper calling Nahel's death, quote, inexcusable in its editorial today. The paper does offer some sympathy for how tough police jobs have become, but really laments this uh, the, the, the fact that relations between the public and police are once again at an all-time low. Uh, Liberation has far less sympathy for the police. They say the police have completely gone adrift on its front page, the left-wing paper saying that uh, are really blaming poor training, but also serious shortcomings in an institution that is untouchable in France. Uh, now, from other papers, you have La Croix here, which also questions police methods, notably interrogation methods, but also training of police. Uh, the paper uh, saying that this, uh, particularly in particular, Niall's death raises questions about police training. Elsewhere in Europe, as I mentioned, it is also making front pages. This is on the front of Correa de la Sera, it's making front pages here uh, on that Italian paper, uh, which echoes comments made by Emmanuel Macron, but also Kylian Mbappé, uh, who expressed his support for Nahel. Now, across uh, the border in uh, Switzerland, there's a really interesting editorial from Le Tribune de Genève, where they uh, where uh, they, they talk about um, what they call a blocked debate between two opposing sides. Uh, you have those who defend the police and those who defend uh, the young victim. Now, those who defend the police, the paper says, should not forget that in all probability, had the shooting not been captured on video, the police officer uh, the police officer would have been protected by his lies and reminds us that since 2017 laws, police do shoot more and kill more in France. On the other hand, the paper also reminds us uh, that, uh, that uh, the, reminds those who defend the young vi victim that had he not been driving without, a, per, uh, without a, uh, a driver's license and had he stopped at that police check, he would be alive today. So the paper really playing devil's advocate today. Now, to a Russian general who's disappeared, it comes after reports in the press that he may have been the general who supported Yevgeny Prigozhin's aborted uh, Moscow rebellion. Yeah, according to two sources close to uh, the uh, defence ministry and, and um, uh, uh, the Moscow Times today, uh, citing these two sources, saying that Sergei Sorovikin, who until last Jan January was Russia's top commander uh, and, and still remains a uh, highly respected and popular military leader, well, he has uh, allegedly been arrested. Uh, U.S. intelligence, according to the, me to the media yesterday, believed that he knew about um, Yevgeny Prigozhin attempted takeover but didn't but uh, in intelligence don't know if he actually paid an active role uh, for the Guardian the British Daily Sorovikin has not been uh, arrested but rather has gone missing the paper uh, for its part relaying information that the general has not been seen in public since the weekend Tough story here for writers. National Geographic magazine has laid off all its uh, remaining staff writers. Yeah, it's uh, very sad for the 135-year-old Washington-based uh, magazine that has really garnered a cult following for its incredible uh, photo essays and uh, reports. Uh, uh, paradoxically, the magazine is actually the most widely read in the U.S., but it has struggled on its digital end. Uh, it has struggled to attract readers to its digital version. Uh, the uh, magazine has laid off its remaining staff and will be run entirely by freelancers now. To quote the post, like one of the endangered species whose in impending extinction it has chronicled, the magazine too has struggled in a hostile ecosystem. It's tough, isn't it? Finally, from uh, Dipti, amazing food might be uh, one of the perks, you would think, anyway, for a presidential visit to a country like here in France or to Italy as well. Definitely not the case, though, uh, for the Brazilian President Lula. 
Yeah, no waxing lyrical for President uh, Lula following his visits to France and Italy. He told journalists recently that the food is just not that great at oh. all. He complained <laughs> that food is not served buffet style and that sometimes it's so sophisticated and tiny you don't actually know what you're eating. Fair <laughs> point on that one. Uh, in Brazil, of course, food is uh, really uh, all about quantity with mm. all you, you can eat, uh, steakhouses and hearty meals. On the upside, he said he did survive his trip to France and Italy but was happy to come back home to his favorite dish in the world, beans with rice, a steak and fried eggs. Yeah, and the thing with French shirt food is you have to eat bread to go with it. You do feel at the end of it, half of it was bread, but anyway, it's the <laughs> answer. Dipti, thanks very much. Sitika Laurent uh, with the press review.